Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2011 The Game Career Mode, part number five. We're going to be more than likely finishing up the Invitational events. We only have two more left. We got the Atlanta Solo Thunder, and then the Legends Challenge at Daytona. So, and then after that, we'll do our first uh, race in the, the season. And we'll we'll swap over to 2011 cars and do all that stuff. So, obviously not in that order, but you know me, I can never get things right. So, here we go. It's Atlanta. Um, we just have to beat the target time and earn the awards. So drivers have five laps to beat. The, okay, yeah, okay. So we got five laps to beat the gold, gold target time. Whatever that is, I'm not totally sure. But let's get into it and see if we can achieve that goal. Here we go. We'll see what lap time they want us to to get. And it's a 31.0 for the gold. Okay. Not sure how easy that'll be. Again. Still kind of getting used to this game in the tracks a little bit. It's just always weird going from Heat 3 to to this. It's always just a little weird. Kind of forget you do have to put in a good amount of break input. Something I'm not used to with the Heat games. But yeah, this I don't think this will be a 31. I don't think we got fully up to speed. Now it's a 31.8. So we already got bronze and silver. We'll do this lap again. We should be able to achieve it here. We're more than a second faster than our last lap, which is already good. So we should be able to get this. The personal best I ever got was a 29.58. That might be with a uh, with a minor setup, like maybe the 12.22 on the tire pressures. That might be possibly what I did there. But Well, anyways, off turn four, we're going to more than likely well achieve the goal oh, by over a second by like a 30 point, what, 0.02. Yeah, all right. Well, that wasn't uh, that wasn't that hard. So let's do the final challenge for these uh, invitational events. Oh, and here's our things: pins, custom paint scheme. Okay, all right. Next, last challenge of the invitational events is at Daytona. Catch and draft five marked drivers. Oh, okay. Well, that's that shouldn't be that hard, especially at Daytona. This should be pretty pretty easy. Well, the field is very awkwardly spread out I'm hoping you know we can catch and pass all of them and get this challenge I'm not really in juniors draft yet the game doesn't think I am I should be right am I ever gonna pick it up I'm only three tenths back there we go all right beautiful we'll draft junior unlock him or unlock his medal or whatever and now we'll put our sights on Gordon draft with him let off the gas a little bit. Duck down low. Next one is Jimmy Johnson. That's weird. Now I'm getting a draft from Jimmy like three, you know, zero point but thirty-five tenths of a second back, and then Junior was like three tenths and it wasn't pit. Whatever, whatever. Mark Martin. Ooh, my goodness, my goodness, we're just soaring through the field. Danica Patrick leading. That's weird. We'll draft with her. And there we go. Very weird that this is the last challenge and it's really not that hard at all. In fact, I think the auto club challenge was way harder, but whatever. We'll just uh, cruise around until we finish up these laps. There we go. Finish that up. Kind of uh, disappointed how easy that was. I was expecting it to be a little bit harder, but it's okay. We, we can now finally begin the last part of this career mode thing with the, the, the you know the regular season mode races and stuff so yeah we got all these legend coins and all that stuff and let's just transfer into 2011 and you know see see what see what happens after all that we completed every challenge all 19 of them and now we'll go into we'll restart the career and we'll do the 2011 season because I did 2010 in the regular uh, playthrough of this or a different playthrough of this game with a 2010 car. So we'll be doing 2011 here. So there we go. We select those and we're going to pick Ryan Newman because we've always, I've always been Ryan Newman when it comes to online lobbies. And that's just the kind of car I've just been so used to driving. It's just something I've always raced with on this game. So we're going to stick with that. And I think when I hit like... Uh, start career there might be a cutscene where it just introduces like the basic things of the game um 
I guess I could play that if it, nobody's ever really seen that before. It's just it's interesting that if there's like a beginning of the game tutorial in the whatever I don't know. This game this game is interesting. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see if that cutscene pops up here. And it does. Okay. Welcome to career mode. This is where it all begins. The NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Okay, let's go over a few things before you race. Drafting is a big part of NASCAR racing, especially at the super speedways. You can use the draft wake effect to line up in a draft, increase your momentum in the draft, then slingshot around. The draft indicator on the heads-up display shows the strength of the draft and the NXP awarded for drafting. The longer you draft, the more NXP you can earn. As you increase your car's momentum, the draft indicator rises. When it reaches the red area, it's time to slingshot past them. On the super speedways, you may want to bump draft and work together. Stay close and give the car in front of you a little tap to push you both forward. Not all drivers like to bump draft, though. Your spotter will let you know the guys you can work with. Okay, this is your proximity radar. It shows you in the center and all other cars nearby. Use the proximity radar to block and make precision passes. The proximity radar also displays your rival's car in red. Your race rival is a driver who is close to you in the standings, has recorded high finishes at the track, or perhaps holds a grudge against you. The rival icon is shown above the driver's car. Finishing higher than the other driver earns bonus NXP. You can earn NXP, NASCAR experience points, throughout the game. Earning NXP increases your driver rank. Ranking up unlocks rewards. Your NXP indicator on the heads-up display shows the NXP you are earning during the race. Drafting past opponents, leading laps, and finishing high all add NXP. The positions ticker shows the distance from the closest car in front and behind you. You can also toggle the ticker to display a real-time running order of the race. The brake indicator displays when your car is approaching a turn too fast. You might want to ease off and consider a different groove. If you get into trouble, you can use the rewind feature in the race to retry after a mistake, avoid a wreck, or as an instant replay after a cool move on the track. The last HUD item I want to show you is the damage and tire indicator. Sectors on this indicator show the worst damage to the car. When a sector pulse is red, it means the car's performance and handling will be affected as a result of the damage. The tires on the indicator will also turn red as they become more worn over time. A bright red tire is close to blowing out. Now you've heard of the groove, right? At tracks like Daytona, there are multiple grooves and you'll often see drivers taking different lines running high and low. If you're low on fuel or you need new tires, you're going to need to pit. Pull into pit road and the crew will be ready. Just tell them what you need. Use the pit stop menu to select the tires to change and fuel to add. Advanced options also allow you to adjust individual tire pressures, wedge, track bar, and grill tape. Now remember, every track has a pit road speed limit. Make sure you check your speed coming in. You don't want to get a penalty for speeding on pit road. Okay, good luck, race hard, and we'll see you in victory lane. Well, that finally ended. Um, yeah. That's just, uh, that's just, yeah. I don't know what to say. It was interesting when the car had damage at, at Homestead, when it did the rewind thing, when it hit the wall, like how much, like, the fiber of the car was, like, sticking out. Yeah, that was never in the game, like, in that, in that way. So I think they probably recorded that in early beta, probably, just speculating. And I think we have to make all the race changes, like, for everything here, so... This is what we'll be using for every race. Very hard, 10% uh, race length, tire and fuel on, just just on, standard tire and fuel because they don't really have fall off. So standard would be kind of like how it was in NASCAR 09. And also the AI in this game are relatively easy. So it makes sense for it to kind of be like that. Caution's on as well, but full damage. So there we go. We're going to do qualifying here. And we're going to do that. Do our laps and see where we start. Oh, good, my game freezes up. Wonderful. Oh, God, this takes forever to reboot up again, and it's locked everything up. My entire system's locked up. Wonderful. Okay, let's put all this in again. Everything looks normal, standard, okay. 
Let's qualify. Please, game, do not freeze up on me. Yes. It worked properly. Okay. Um, we got the pull. I don't know by how much, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. It's not very hard, by the way. I just want to make that clear. It's not very hard. It's just... That's just how it is. Well, we got the pull, and our second lap was faster. All right. Um. Well, I'm kind of curious where everybody else was ru running, like because I think we we did get it, but it wasn't by a whole lot. Forty-seven. Okay, two tenths or twenty one hundredths of a second, whatever. But okay, it wasn't as big of a jump as I thought. But all right, let's get into the race because this game has cutscenes or something. So we'll let those play out. Other sports end their season with their biggest game, the championship. In NASCAR, they've got the biggest race right at the get-go. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Garrow at Daytona with Doug Rice getting ready for the big one, the Daytona 500. It's the great American race, and it's produced great finishes. 1976, Petty Pearson. 1979, Allison and Yarborough crash. Petty wins. 2007, Kevin Harvick just edges out Mark Martin. A sellout crowd completely ringing in this 2.5-mile speedway. The pace car speeds on to pit road. The green flag is waving in the Super Bowl of Star Here we go. Green flag's about to be out. And we got 20 laps of this on the pole. Fuel and everything won't be an issue. Tires, I mean, might be, but... Yeah. Just like uh, NASCAR and I a little bit, we got a really great start. And remember, uh, obviously a couple different things with the 2011 update. Repave Daytona, even though in this game I think they just, they pretty much just gave it a different color. They didn't change the characteristics. It's just darker. And there's a yellow. Okay. That's weird for the AIs to bring themselves out of caution. And it's the 2-7 cars. Okay, I don't know what that was, but... Yeah, the bunch of scrubs in the back wreck. That's realistic. Parked right in front of a port potty. That's perfect representation of Robbie Gordon's career. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah. Um, I was going to say, um, this game had two car tangos and stuff. This was during that time period where you could do two car tangos, so the AI drivers will be doing that and all, and all that stuff. So uh, got to watch out for that. Like before, we just got off to a really good start. And um, you know, we'll just kind of block the lanes and see... Uh, just see how it goes. I mean, right now we almost have a second lead, so that's kind of disgusting all on its own. Oh man, two different lines, and Gordon's going to give me a hell of a shot. And it looks like I'm going to still lead this lap, but Montoya really tried. I didn't expect him to get such a run on me so quick, but... Yeah, Montoya's getting just shoved. And we kind of broke up Gordon. Or, oh my good lord. Well, thank you, Gordon, for pushing me. That helps. And we retake the lead... Now we just got to block Montoya up high off turn two so he doesn't get a uh, run. And there we go. Block Gordon. It's like NASCAR Thunder. Just block the two middle lanes. And we'll get down to the bottom to the preferred lane. Also, one thing to be very mindful of is that the apron or the, the banking will mess up the axle of the car and will slow you down if you hit that. So you got to be very careful of not hitting the, you know, the, the line there too, so... There's a couple of things to be to be very mindful about here. I think the outside line is trying to get another form up going up there. Gordon, who oh, almost hit the wall. <laughs> we block Gordon, and he's going to duck down low. And I think we're good for now. As long as they're just single file like this, I can easily make make the block because I hit the apron a little bit there. But yeah, that's all we got to really worry about. Just they're single file. I think we'll be fine. Oh my god, Edwards. Wow, they just... Yeah, they just stopped. I don't know what that was about. But we just gained... Back half a second. And oh man, there's just a big wad of cars back there. And they're three wide. I don't... Pff. If they're, if they're going to try to get around... If, oh, I don't know. If, if there's like three cars trying to make a pass behind me. There's no way I can block that. So uh, hopefully that gets all situated by the time they catch up to me. And it looks like it did, so that's good. 
and that word's gonna be catching me, so. Yeah, like I said, as long as they're single file, that this won't be too big, big of a problem to block. Starting lap 11, halfway through the race, it's just been a complete and utter dogfight behind me for second place, just still continuing to, to lead and block. Edward's trying to do something. Now it looks like, I don't even know who's in the final now. Well, I'm afraid to look back. But there's three wide behind me, and boy, they're just crazy. And then Montoya who started on the outside front row, back to second. Edwards looks like he's getting the run to the bottom, so we'll just duck down low. Edwards gives me a shot, or tried to, and Montoya stopped a little bit on the outside, jacks up the whole outside lane. And we're back to single file, and yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's just been a, a lot of mirror driving, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stress. Man, a hell of a run on the outside, we'll make another block. Man, they just, they just came out of nowhere. But it's okay. We're fine. Oh my god. Alright. They're starting to get two lanes filed up back there. They're just all over. Just, they just want to make a move. Inside line looks like it's going to get a run. We'll block down low again. Oh my god. I don't know what it is. They get a hell of a run off turn four though. And turn two. Gotta be mindful of that. Edwards looks like he got just punted or something. Got loose behind me, it looked like. I'll block Boyer up high, get down low. Block up high one more time to be safe. And back down low. Yeah, now that's gonna be. Oh, good lord, Edwards with a shot of the century. Poor, poor suspension. Probably didn't like that. That might hurt our speed a little bit, but. My god, Edwards just shut the door on Boyer. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that was terrifying. Okay, they're single file again for, for now. Everything looks okay. Oh my god, that's probably the worst thing to do is make a block in mid corner. And it worked. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god, it's just. I, I can't handle two by two blocking, it's just too stressful. All right, just hold the bottom again. All right, that's looking good. And we'll block the run up high off turn four. All right, beautiful. Whew. All right, three to go, still leading the race. We're trying to take more of a high side lane approach, and it seems like it's working for the most part. The inside line has not been able to get as good a run off the corner as the outside lines were kind of doing. So that's what I've been doing, <laughs> a lot of doings, but... That's what I've been up to the last couple of laps. It seems to be working out really, really well for ourselves. Boyer's just not making, always making a move, and now we're all getting single file here, which is good for me. Probably a lot of the fans are getting pissed off watching this live if this was a real race, but it's working, and we're going to continue to do that. Ooh, Boyer. Okay, I see you. That was a, that was something, that was a, that was pretty clever, Boyer. That fucked up my poor suspension. Ah, oh, shit. That's gonna hurt. And Boyer gets back up to the outside. I'll give him that. That was kind of... That was something. Oh, man. That's just gonna kill our speed a little bit with that little bit of... Uh, axle suspension damage or whatever. Especially at a track like this. It's just we need all the speed we can get. And we might have lost a little bit there. But we're gonna be heading into the white flag now. And... Now we have to block two lanes. Truex is actually trying to make the bottom lane work, so good for him. White flag's out one more time around. Boyer's still just chilling on the outside. And nobody's making a move. It all depends on what the inside line can do to get some kind of run. We'll just block them up high. Ooh, oh, oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Boyer. Oh, my. I don't know what that was, but I guess that was a block. That was, he just kind of let me have it. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, my good lord. How on earth am I going to block this? Oh, boy. We're going to have to try to, like, be in the middle. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, man. Jesus. Oh, my God. We're gonna still getting a top five from this? Yes, we are. It's the fourth. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my God. That was so good for so long. 
oh my god, that was something else. I could... uh, they just got the run at like the perfect time. I can't believe that. Oh my god, I don't even know who won it. Might have been Boyer, I think. Most boy <laughs> Yeah, Martin Truex Jr. wins the 500. I'll... Oh boy, that's beautiful. I'll... I led every lap with the last one. Is there a replay? I gotta see the replay to see what happened because, oh my god, I saw oh, there's like too much lanes going on at once. So this is the last lap, and I'm blocking the inside lane, and the outside lane has a run too. The inside kind of got a run on the ins they the inside got a run about the same time the outside line did, and it was just like way too hard to block, and I just kind of pulled a Kenseth there and. A big wad happened. That was just hardcore blocking there, and I, we just were just ping ponging off of people for for spots. It was just too many, too many spots to to block all at once. It worked for really for a good amount of time. Like even if I stayed, I should. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Like, ah, uh, that just sucked. Happened so late in the race like that, and I just can't believe I didn't wreck. I mean, that was just a was a mess. Oh, Martin Trex Jr. wins. Casey Kane got second. Biffle got third, and we got ourselves fourth. We got some bonus points and led the most laps and all that. Poor Jimmy Johnson that we ran into at the end of that race. I think fell back to 20th. Outside the top 20. Okay. Wow, that far back? 38th. Damn, I really screwed his race up. <laughs> Danny Patrick with the fastest lap. Um. Yeah. I don't know what to say. That's just uh, almost worked out. That almost worked out in our favor. And there's the point standings. We're five points back from Truex. He did win the race, so he does get four bonus points and did lead a lap. We do lead a lap and get the most laps. I think that's how it used to work back then. I thought winning would get you points too. Unless that's three points. Might be. Might be three points. I don't know. But yeah. Second. Good way to start off the season and I'm sure we'll get one at, at some point. Next one on the schedule is Phoenix. We'll get to that next race. I think this was the... Back then, they used to do it for 600 miles, which is why the lap counter is so much higher here. So there, there's your fun fact. That's what they used to do. And then if we dominate there, nothing much happens, then we'll do Vegas. It all depends part by part on how, how well we do. So, yeah, that's about it for me. Uh, that was uh, something something else. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Adele Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave, 500 Champ 15, Jeff Gordon, Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Matthew Murray, Motorsports Games, and Preston Carpenter for a donation again. I can't thank guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel. It does mean a lot to me, and like I always say, just really, really can't thank you guys enough for your help. I'll see you all next part for where we race at Phoenix, and see, um, let's see if we can get our first win of the season. We were close. We're close enough, so we'll try to get next time. That's it for me. I'll see you all next part. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.